All right, guys. Welcome back. We are back on the lake. What a better way to start this session than catching a fish. Only fishing uh, about an hour now. And uh, solid back tactic. And I managed to catch this little one, little common, which is really good start. Man, so good to catch finally. I just managed to find a few fish around this area. Got a solid back where I, where I seen the fish showing. And uh, about an hour later, a drop back and we have this little common. Look at this. Go. This little common. No blank for me this session. Already have a fish. Really good, really, really good. Here is it. Probably around 16, 17 pounds. But I haven't been uh, really successful lately with catching carp because you know it slowed down a little bit and uh, it was it's real difficult to catch a fish now because you know it's getting cold and everything and and really hard but they, they are really active today so solid back tactic little fruity squid uh, wafter pasta butter wafter and Here's the result. All right, uh, I put this back quick because uh, my rod is ready to go. Just waiting for, for a fish to show himself and then I cast the rod back. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're gonna catch more. Really, certainly it's a really good start. Good evening. As you can tell, we got some fish here. It's not a, not a carp, sadly. It's a fairly good size uh, catfish. Uh, I picked this up and uh, I, I'm quite happy to pick this up because, uh, because it, it came out with like six different end tackle plus uh, fence wire. I will show you later. It's, it's crazy what, what you can find or how, what, the pigs, what the fish can pick up. So I'm going to show you this. Uh, probably around 30 40 40 pound uh, catfish just have to be careful because i haven't got the glove so i'm just gonna use the cloth here Even more, even heavier. Oh, man. Would be nicer gloves. I don't have. Quite powerful. Look at this. It is heavy. It is goddamn heavy. Look at this. Big, uh, probably 50 pound, 40, 50 pound. It is heavy. White belly. Big mouth. Let's put it back. Cause uh, there you go. Soon. Well, hopefully the next one will be a carp. Not this slimy animal. Oh, I, 
I knew that it's going to be a catfish because a, a fight was a, like, uh, I don't even know. It was like a 20, 20, 30 minutes fight. I had to reel in quick in my other rod because uh, I was afraid it's going to tangle, but it's good I reeled it in because after which, what I'm going to show you, that you will be surprised. All right, uh, talk to you later. So here we go, first fish of the session, 23 pounds scaly. Mirror cut, look at this. On a solid bag. Little chunky. Chunky boy or girl. Come on. Look at this. Look at this fish. Whew. Really good start of this session. And we still got like almost 48 hours ahead of us. So let's hope we're gonna manage to catch a few more. Yes. Uh, let's put it back. Let's get some more. It's time to put back the rods. A little bit of tactic change because uh, this rod on my uh, right rod, I seen a few fish uh, showing yesterday and today I see maybe one or two. Uh, it's going more out to the where is the poles, uh, boundary markers. So that's uh, the right rod gonna go out there and a little bit of crumb boilie and uh, small boilies and chopped and all little uh, items. And uh, this is what I'm going to use on that rod. All trusty essential IB and a little bit of maggots on the top, topped up. Hins um, Ronnie rig, four ounce lead. I'm about to cast the rod out, but before I do that, I check the rig, make sure it sits as I want it to be to sit. That's really important to do. Now the hardest part, to cast the rod out and land it on a perfect spot. As you can see it's a really strong crosswind and I have to cast to the right because the wind gonna push my rig to the left side and it's gonna land on a perfect spot. Now a little bit of food which gonna be some small particles and chopped and crumb boilies. I'm not gonna put out loads of food, just enough to get a bite. Now I have to repeat the same process as the, my previous rod. I have to calculate the wind into my cast. So I have to cast on the right side and the wind's gonna push my spawn to the left side.
All right. So another road is on, on the way. So this is how we call that beautiful car last night, uh, la yesterday afternoon. This one, solid back setup, uh, main line, uh, pink quad, and a few maggots on the top. This is gonna go in a bag. This bag already prepared. I'm using a little bit thicker uh, uh, bag because it's raining and I don't want it to open when I cast it out. So that's a little bit of extra protection, you know. It's, uh, it makes, it's going to land either way because it's thicker and it's not gonna melt so quick. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, pellets on the bottom. That's it. And I'm going to lower my rig, but before I do that, I check my hook. That's really important to check it. Make sure it's sharp enough. Remember, it's sharp. Give it a little bit of with the fine stone just to get the rust off. Probably around 5 inch hook length, size 6 uh, curve shank, and a little mainline, um, what's it called? Quads, and a little bit of uh, muggets on the top. This is how we had uh, last night the fish. Let's get back to it. This one, I'm going to lower it just as I like it. A little bit hard with the maggots. I don't know if it's visible. Cover it up with pellets. Yep. And then we drop the lead in the middle. And a little bit jiggle it down to make sure it's in the center of the bag it's gonna fly more accurate a little bit of tap compact it a little bit more the other, the other lead is covered a little bit of tap again compact and we're gonna some add some maggots as well because we have some maggots here. That's it. A little bit of maggots, and I'm also gonna put some more pellet on the top so I can compact it. And I'll push it down Just gently because you don't want to burst up the maggots. So this is how does it look like. It's compact. Lick around. And voila, this is our maggot solid bag, it's really compact and before we cast out we're gonna put some uh, liquid in it as always, can't send it out without liquid, 
So I've got here some main line link. This is what's gonna go in the bag before I toss it out. What I do, put the syringe on top, tip it up. Around, I don't know, 10 mil, even less. You can put less. We're gonna pull it in just before we cut it out because I don't want the maggots to crawl out from the bag. Well, let's do this quick because uh, rain doesn't look like it's going to stop. Oh, everything is dirty. Okay, doesn't really look like it's going to stop anytime soon, so we just get on with it. Here's a syringe, a PVA bag, stick it here, here we go, and just uh, put the rest on the bag, nice, let's cast it out quick. Yeah, finally, we got all rods in, we're ready to catch some fish, it's, I think I've done everything, I cast the solid back, back the same spot where I had the fish last night, um, yeah, pretty much that's all I can do, I got another spot which is, uh, looks promising at the moment, but we will see obviously if it's, if it's going to work out or not, and yeah i think that's it it's time to eat some food as well because i'm starving all right guys I think that's it for this session. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to turn on the notification. Well, that's it for this one. Other, if I'm not gonna catch another one, then I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now.